Hi hey everybody, this is Bob at uh, Wanderwild Farm and this is a 2019 mid-season uh, recap on our maple uh, syrup season. Uh, we made several uh, changes this year. For years we've used uh, a bag uh, and tap system and generally have run around 50 taps, although uh, last year we increased that to over 100 in a fit of unrestrained enthusiasm. Uh, this year, uh, partly out of necessity and partly out of interest, we went to a pipeline system. And I've got a separate video on how that's working and I'll probably give you an update on that as well. Um, that's a solar powered uh, vacuum system and it's uh, so far it's working great. Uh, we've had our best year ever in terms of sap production. But we made some other changes here as well. We expanded the sap house and uh, uh, did some unconventional things there. And I MacGyvered together a new boiling pan system and I'll uh, show you that as well. Uh, here's the new uh, addition on the sap house. You can see the, the new pine siding there and uh, an insulated chimney. That's the old uh, sap house there that was just a simple uh, shed roof. And uh, what I did instead of uh, building a cupola, I used uh, a sawtooth pattern. Can't really see it up there, and I put a little trap door in the side as well. But you you can see up there that the two roofs don't meet at a peak. Basically, the old roof uh, sits atop the edge of the new roof, and that leaves about a foot space uh, up at the top where steam can escape. So instead of a standard cupola, uh, we've gone with this sawtooth pattern. And this works fine. It uh, exhausts all the steam you'd ever want and seems uh, to work very well. So that's been a win. And here's the, uh, the addition. I did put a plywood floor in it. Uh, All the comforts of home, easy chair there. And here is the <coughs> evaporator system. Uh, we've got uh, just a hundred gallon feed tank up there, which is a, just a rubber made uh, stock tank. And this is the uh, uh, system that I sort of pieced together. Uh, <coughs> This arch uh, is completely been rebuilt. Uh, the only original part of this arch is the actual door. And that came off a two by three Waterloo arch that we bought in 1993 and it just all rusted out. <clears throat> and then <clears throat> last year I had built a, uh, that bottom section <clears throat> that fits a two by three pan and this year I wanted to go to a double pan system and I added that extension there uh, with a little area at the back uh, for our uh, uh, exhaust pipe there. These are actually two flat pans. Uh, I guess I could have got a a, a raised flue pan, I'd probably have more boiling capacity, but I thought this would uh, handle it this year, and so far it has been keeping up with the help of uh, a home build RO. So the system is we just got a gravity feed out of the tank into this uh, home built uh, float box. I built that out of a uh, steam table. Uh, tray and that runs into uh, through this uh, fitting into this primary boiler and this primary boiler is actually uh, two foot by four foot uh, it was uh, actually a, a finished boiler uh, for a four foot wide arch but I've modified it and the sap comes in uh, along that side, 
runs down along that baffle through a little hole, runs back down through here, and then drops down through a second uh, float valve, um, structured much like the first, but directly into the finished tank. And the finished tank has three baffles, so the sap runs down here, down there, back here, and eventually uh, that's where we drain it off. And I've got a thermometer in there, and uh, at our elevation, generally uh, water boils around 209. So we'll get it up to about 214 with about uh, five inches in that pan, and then draw off, and we can usually draw off uh, uh, seven or eight gallons at a time and then take that into uh, the greenhouse to finish up on the stove in there. Uh, the other innovation I, I tried this year, which was working great uh, up until recently, you can see a little hole that I drilled in the, uh, in the uh, ash cleanout drawer, uh, door. And up until this morning, that little Dayton uh, blower fan was bolted to that. Uh, yesterday I wasn't paying attention and uh, the, the uh, syrup in the finish pan got a little bit too uh, done and the whole thing overflowed creating what's known in the business as a uh, sticky mess. And it candy coated my little blower fan which uh, stopped working. So <clears throat> I'm probably going to have to go back to a normally aspirated <laughs> Uh, system today and just lit the fire here and we're getting going and I'll have to order a new fan but I would uh, uh, that that was a nice upgrade it really improved the boiling capacity so with the two flat pans here basically two feet by six feet I can boil off uh, around six gallon or uh, correct uh, about ten gallons an hour <laughs> So that's the system uh, in the uh, in the shack, and uh, so far, so good. Uh, we've been able to keep up with a 240 tap uh, pipeline system with the help of the RO, and I'll uh, I'll show you the RO in a separate video. As I mentioned, we got a new pipeline system this year uh, with 240 taps and a uh, a solar powered vacuum system. Uh, the reason for this was twofold. Uh, the first is what I like to call the uh, uh, the new boat syndrome, which is every year you want a boat that's two feet longer and it seems like uh, with maple sap every year you want to add a few taps and get a little bigger. Uh, the other reason was really out of necessity. We had a real old-fashioned uh, winter uh, in northern Wisconsin this year in February we had over six feet of snow set new records uh, collapsed numerous buildings uh, led to many hour enjoyable hours of shoveling roofs and uh, made the woods essentially uh, inaccessible you could get out there with snowshoes but the prospect of uh, tromping around in the woods uh, with snowshoes carrying five gallon pails gathering maple sap was not uh, uh, very appealing and so uh, we put in the pipeline system and it's been working great uh, I, uh, I'll give an update on that system uh, I couldn't be happier with it it's uh, much much easier you just have to gather out of a single tank and um, the productivity has been uh, amazing we've had over 1500 gallons of sap through the first three weeks of the season and uh, produce over 30 gallons of syrup and we've got another probably another week to go. It's April the 14th and this is uh, by far uh, the nicest day and the best running day that we've had. Uh, I checked this uh, two hours ago and we had 10 gallons and in the tank right now, it's much impossible to see, but we've got about 100 
and 20. So we're gonna do a uh, a uh, test here and see how long it takes to fill up that bucket. But here's the the flow out of that uh, that vacuum pump today. It's pretty impressive.